Welcome everyone. Today we are here to present the changes that follow the release of ESCO v1.1, the update of the ESCO classification. This presentation in particular will go through the main changes for existing users, but I think you will find it also very useful in case you are new to ESCO. In particular, we will go through three main topics. The first topic is how to consult ESCO v1.1 using the ESCO portal. Then we will talk about how you can download the updated version of ESCO. And finally, what is the material available for you in the portal in terms of reports and news items? Let's start with the first one. So uh, what do we mean about consulting the ESCO portal? Uh, what we talk about is what you can do just, uh, you know, scrolling the two, the two pillars of the ESCO classification, which are the occupation pillar and the skills pillar. As you see in the two small screenshot, uh, what you can do is to scroll the hierarchies. So uh, as you know, you have the arrows and going through uh, clicking on the arrows, you can go through the whole classification at the different levels of granularity. You can read every detail of ESCO concepts. So when you click on one concept, then you can read the preferred table, the preferred term, the description uh, and other information available for you. Finally, you can search using the search bar for one specific concept. Let's go now more in detail, starting from the skills pillar. Three are the main changes applied to the skills pillar following V1.1. The first one is that you can now consult the new skills and knowledge concepts. In fact, in addition to what was already existing in ESCO, so all the existing skills and knowledge concepts, you can now consult more than 500 new concepts that have been created in the last two years and translated in every ESCO language. Fine, then, uh, sorry, second step is that you can look at the transversal skills hierarchy. This is a new hierarchy that has been built by experts and is divided into different levels and you can go clicking in the arrows so go at the different uh, granularity levels of the hierarchy up to the last level where you will find the transversal skills and then the third point maybe a tricky one is that in the ESCO portal we still show obsolete concepts Obsolete concepts are concepts that were part of the ESCO classification, but now are considered as obsolete, so they are no longer linked to other ESCO concepts. For example, skills are now no longer linked to any occupations if they are obsolete. However, we decided to leave you these obsolete concepts in the portal so that you can still have a look at them in case you used to use an old version of ESCO but pay attention and you can distinguish them by their status which is under the concept and is declared as obsolete. Let's have a look now at the occupations pillar. The occupations pillar didn't change so much after v1.1 in the sense that uh, hierarchy is the same however you will now find a set of new occupations, more than 60 occupations have been created, so you can consult them and learn everything about such occupations in the portal. Moreover, again, you will find the obsolete occupations. It is just two occupations, but again, um, you may find useful to look back at them, even if you are using V1.1, so you still can uh, search for them in the ESCO classification, but they are recognized as obsolete under their status field. Let's now go for a quick tutorial in our portal. We are now in the ESCO portal. This is the main homepage. Going in the classification section, we can go in the two main pillars. Starting with the skills and competencies, we can look 
the different hierarchies that we present in the portal. The skills hierarchy is the main hierarchy. However, the transversal skills and competencies hierarchy is new and it's unique to V1.1 in the sense that before it was not available. You can browse such hierarchy and get to the level of singular transversal skills. You can distinguish these skills as transversal also thanks to the skill reusability level. Every skill has preferred term, description, alternative labels. The transversal skills are not linked to any occupation because they are transversal within the labor market. Then in the occupations pillar, you can again go through the different levels of the hierarchy and I remind, I remind you that the first four levels of the hierarchy are based on ISCO, while uh, from the dot onwards, it's the ESCO classification. Now, back to our presentation. The next topic is about how to download the ESCO V1.1 classification. You can download it using what is available in the download section, or you can use our API. For the API, please refer to the API page where you will find the documentation you need. As concerns the download section, we, um, we allow implementers to download ESCO in different formats, TTL, CSV, ODS. You can choose the format you prefer in the type field. Moreover, you can choose different versions of the ESCO classification in the version field. In fact, it starts with ESCO V1.0, the first version of the ESCO classification. The next my major update is the one we are presenting now, ESCO V1.1. However, in between, you will find a number of minor updates. For example, ESCO V1.0.8. In the minor updates, the content does not change at a quantitative level. What we changed was smaller things, for example, the translation of a concept in one language. Then you can pick the language you prefer. ESCO speaks 27 languages, which are all the European, all the languages officially recognized of the European Union, plus Arabic, Icelandic, and Norwegian. Finally, you can go to the field ESCO pillar and pick the pillar you prefer. You can have the occupations or the skills competencies pillar. What is new to V1.1 is that now you can download the specific skills based on the labels. For example, now if you just want to look at green or research skills, you can simply go for the ESCO pillar, select the skills competencies and download only such skills. We will have a quick tutorials afterwards to also have a look at that. Please remind that obsolete concepts cannot be downloaded in V1.1. Here we go a bit, a bit more advanced, just in case you don't want to just download the labels of ISCO skills, but you still want to consult them in some way. For example, you are interested in the green skills in ESCO, but you also want to compare them with other ESCO skills, the ones that are non-green. In this case, these are the steps you should follow. First, you download the skill competencies package. What will happen afterwards is that you will have a number of different fields in the file that you have downloaded. The label information is in the field cons called concept scheme. Hence, you will go in the column that lists all the concept schemes and then you will simply use a keyword to filter what you want, being green, research, transversal, or decomp. Once you have done this, 
you can simply uh, look at the green skills available or the other ones. Um, if you are using the API, then you should just call for the concept scheme, for example, using the call that is in the slide. And if you are using the TTL, again, you can use the SCOS in scheme call. Something else that is available in the ESCO portal for you following, following the release of v1.1 is the Delta file. The Delta file is very important for you to compare v1.1 to previous versions of ESCO. In fact, this is a CSV, so an Excel, actually an Excel um, document that stores the differences between v1.1 and the previous version of ESCO, so v109. The document is composed of three main tabs. The first one is a README and it introduces to the data stored in the other tabs. The second tab is an overview. It provides general information for the wider public. For example, here you can filter for new occupations, obsolete occupations, updated occupations, as well as new, obsolete and updated skills and knowledges. So what we suggest to do here is just to have a quick look at the numbers, for example, or which are the new concepts, which are the obsolete. This is really helpful just to have a quick look. Well, if you want to have more specific information, then you should use the third tab. This is the detailed delta and it provides detailed information concerning every change that we have made. One row for each change, which means that, for example, if one occupation has been linked to new skills, then we would have one row for each new relationship between the occupation and the skill. Furthermore, we have worked on some descriptions and some preferred terms which means that we have improved some of them. When we have changed, when we have made any change, then we have also translated again such change. You can find the new translation here. So you can look at the old value with the previous translation and then at the new value with the new translation. Here you can filter in the last column for the language. Everything is then simply available in the portal, scrolling the classification as we did first. Let's have now a quick look back in the portal and see how we can do what we showed. Here we are. From the ESCO portal, for downloading the data as we showed first, we go to Tools and Resources. In the download section, we can use the various filter to take what we need. First, we start with the, with the V1.1 version, which is the one we are presenting today. We go for the language we prefer. Then we choose the type we prefer. In this case, I pick CSV. Finally, we choose the ESCO pillar. Now, let's say, for example, that I want to download green skills. I would go here and go in skills competencies. Now I will find a data, a data set only for green skills. I pick this one and I go through the process to download the data. This is the download page. Here I have to tick the boxes where it says that the use of ESCO should be acknowledged. I add my information. And now I'm ready to download. Here is what will be presented to me.
as you see, we have all the list of green skills in this document. Now, what you can do are a number of activities. You can choose how to use such data. But overall, you will see here the concept type to be sure you have downloaded a skilled competence. The URI, which is the unique value, the unique identifier of every concept in a school. The preferred label, so the title of every skill. The status, whether it is released or obsolete. But please remind that we removed every obsolete, so you will only find the released ones. Then here you can distinguish whether it's a skill or a knowledge. The reusability level. So every ESCO skill can have one out of four reusability levels. Occupation specific, sector specific, cross sectoral and transversal. Then alternative labels, the description of the skill and then the broader concept URI to see where such skill is mapped in the skill hierarchy and the title of such broader concept. Back to the portal. Under About ESCO and the document section, you will find a number of documents that you may find useful when you are using ESCO. Now we are just looking at the Delta file called Delta ESCO V1.1. We simply click on it to download the Delta file. And here is what will be there as a result. Starting from the README, which is the first tab, we see indeed an introduction. In the overview part, we can have an overview. For example, I can choose to only look at the obsolete concepts. And here I can see that there are 106 skills or knowledge that were considered as obsolete with, each, with the URI for each of them. Finally, the detailed delta presents the detailed information as presented in the PowerPoint before. Finally, let's conclude this tutorial and presentation with a couple of more slides. These are to show you what are other information available in the ESCO portal. So we have two main information following the release of V1.1. One is the report on green skills and knowledge, which explains you our methodology to level green skills and knowledge concepts. The second one is a news item that we have published. Let's start from the first. This report is composed of different parts, starting from the methodology, explaining you what have we done? What are the different steps that we have followed? And what is behind this whole work? The results show you the result concerning what are the green skill and knowledge concepts, and also how are they distributed within the classification. Use cases, so how we think this list of green skills and knowledge can be useful for the labor market and for the education and training sector. And finally, some more support material. As for the use cases, on the right, you have an example. Let's conclude with the latest news. We have published one news item that tells you what are the information, what are the information following the release of B1.1, so the main changes. You can share it with your network. But most importantly, this news item lists all the contributors who supported the update of ESCO and the release of ESCO B1.1. We are very thankful for their support. Thank you very much for your attention. May you have any question or doubt, please do not hesitate to contact the ESCO team.